Also from today's hearing, we're learning about new evidence indicating at least one of those seven guns involved in the shooting had been modified to fire faster. Yeah, our Josh Gann is tonight is looking into that part of the investigation and what's being done to stop that from happening. Josh, yeah, it's not clear right now exactly how these guns were modified, but we do know there has been an increase in the number of Glock switches here in Alabama. That's a small device. The illegal device is a very dangerous and has been used in mass shootings around the U.S. and right here in Alabama, according to law enforcement. A Glock switch converts a handgun, a popular semi-automatic weapon, into a machine gun. Now, we first told you about police uncovering dangerous Glock switches here in Birmingham in an on-your-side investigation last year. Since then, we've learned the number of Glock switches seized by law enforcement in the state has increased by 1,200%, according to the ATF. Here's how the ATF describes how these thumb-sized devices work. For each single pull of the trigger, it fires multiple rounds. It can fire up to at a rate of 11 to 1200 rounds per minute. That is uh, that's dangerous. Um, and, and, and as mentioned by the chief, it's very dangerous to innocent bystanders. It is not an accurate weapon. Right now, Glock switch cases are being tried in federal court. A bill is making its way through the state legislature that could make Glock switch possession a felony. We'll keep you updated on the progress.